In this video, I'll show you the exact steps I follow to make one-to-one -one iPhone UI animations. I'm going to provide you a 3D iPhone model and a whole lot of stuff that will allow you to create animations like these in a matter of 5 minutes. Let's get into the video. We're going to be using a total of 3 programs. Figma for the perfect UI design, Illustrator for ungrouping and preparing for After Effects, and After Effects for the 3D animation. If you're not a Figma or Illustrator type of guy, don't worry, because I'm going to show you everything step by step. We're going to start with this iMessages UI. It contains a screen that we're going to use and additional two notifications. The tutorial to using these notifications you'll find on my Discord page. We're going to focus on the screen. The first thing we want to do is edit these messages. So I'm going to go into this bubble by double clicking three times. Now we can edit the text message. You can see that I unselected the text layer. Now it's time for me to move this border to the left. I'm going to edit the second message. I need to repeat the same thing I did just now. Now I'm going to show you an example if there are two lines of text. Now, this is a long text message. The first thing you want to do is grab this border and drag it to the left. This text layer goes out of the bubble, so you need to grab the bottom border and drag it down until you see 7 pixels right here. Now this text message is not in the right place. I'm going to drag this down by holding shift and holding left click. And the default spacing between the iMessages is 10 pixels. By holding alt and selecting this message, I can see the spacing between these messages. It's 21. I need to press 11 times arrow up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now the spacing should be fixed. Now let's edit the last message. A way to add more messages is by going to the layer section and duplicating the bubble. Always remember to rename the layers. Bubble 5. I'm going to drag this down and it needs to be in the messages frame. Drag this downwards until you see 10 pixels. I'm going to check it by holding Alt, 9 pixels to 9 pixels. 9 pixels upwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to change this layer and this text layer doesn't fit the bubble. So I'm going to edit this by dragging this border. Now it's time to export this iPhone UI. Click on the name right here and go to export settings. Select SVG and unselect the outline text. Select include ID attribute. Now let's export it. Name it something like Figma export and save it wherever you want. If you don't have the Adobe Illustrator icon here, right click and go to properties and change the open width. You should have the Illustrator somewhere here. Press apply and OK. Now it's time to open this in Illustrator. This should display the Figma iMessages UI. Now, the first thing you need to do is expand these layers right here. All the layers that are named ungroup, I want you to ungroup them, right? So, select this layer by clicking on this little circle right here. And the only shortcut you're gonna need is Ctrl Shift G to ungroup the layers and ungroup the messages frame as well. Now our task is to go to each bubble and ungroup the messages and extract these messages outside of the bubble. Repeat that task until you have the text messages, all the text messages outside of these bubbles. You probably know that Adobe Illustrator is a tool that allows us to edit vectors. And by vectors, I mean layers that when you scale them up, you don't see the lose of quality, like in PNGs or JPGs, you know what I mean. And this will actually help us to avoid the layers to pixelize in After Effects. That's why I'm gonna select all these layers and go to properties, let's link the width and height and change the width to 3967 pixels. While holding Alt, I'm gonna drag down to zoom out and press the scroll wheel to move around. Now go to layers and find background and path should be right here. Select both of these layers, go to the properties section again, unlink the width and height and change the height to 8440. You can see that something broke here, that's why I'm gonna go to layers again and select both of these layers and now I need to drag both of these layers up until I see intersect right here. Once you've done that, go to the layer section and select all layers and move them out of the clip group. Now it's time to import these layers to After Effects. Select all of them and go to Window, Extensions and Overload. By the way, every asset I'm using in this video will be linked in my Discord server and the channel Resources. So check that out. Now we need to open After Effects. 
make a composition this size 3967 by 8440 click ok and now it's time to import these layers into after effects push selection to after effects gonna select all of these layers and move them down. I'm pressing arrow down here to move the layers even more closer to the composition's edge and the resources I'm gonna give you there will be this keyboard PNG file. I want you to drag it inside of your composition. The iPhone model clips the borders right here the, at the edges of the borders and I wanted the mic and the happy smile face here to be visible. That's why I added some dead pixels on the side. I'm gonna scale this down. I scale it down so I'm gonna scale it up a little and place it at the bottom of your composition. And the uh, resources you're gonna find Chevron 4 for the name. It's gonna be right here. Chevron for the leave the, the message tags I guess that's it. And emojis. These are basically all iPhone emojis. I'm gonna drag this Chevron right here and another chevron right here and we're gonna move this upwards and to the left and reverse the scale because we want it to be reversed <laughs> and change the scale to 125 this is how it should look now let's fix the name scale it to 35 and place it next to the name i want to track the name to the right to center it a little bit and that should be fine i'm gonna drop my avatar youtube picture place it above the the avatar picture and track mat this layer to to the avatar track mat avatar right. and scale this layer down yeah it looks great now it's time to animate the bubbles the reason I told you to remove the text from the bubbles is text will be flooded if, if you kept the text layer inside of the bubble. So now you can add text animators to these text layers. In the resource channel, I'm going to provide you with iPhone presets. These are mainly for the bubbles, but there is a text animation here. You can use that. You can try it out. It's it's on my Discord page, right? I told it like 40 times already. To animate the text bubbles, I'm going to select the text bubble and the text layer above it. Press P. While holding Shift, I'm going Gonna press T to expand opacity and keyframe both of these values and drag them about one second. We need to drag both of these layers down like that. Drop the opacity to zero. Now we need to add a custom graph to this. Select all keyframes right here and go to graph editor. Select all keyframes again and press F9 to easy the keyframes. I'm gonna drag this handle to the left. I'm gonna repeat the same thing I did just now to all of the bubbles. I'm going to copy the graph we just made with motion tools. It's a free plugin, you can install it, just search on Google something like motion tools and you should have it. I'm going to paste the graph to all of these layers. Now we need to stack these layers so the, the messages move out to each other. That's why I asked you to rename the bubbles. Right? This is how the animation looks. Select a layer right here and Ctrl A to select all layers. We need to pre-compose all of these layers and call them something like a uh, huge comp. The next thing we need to do is press Ctrl K to see the composition settings. I have a preset right here for iPhone, but you want to change the width and height to these numbers. Press OK, scale the huge comp to 23.7. Nothing should be empty around the borders, there shouldn't be anything black. Now we need to pre-compose this huge comp, name it something like iPhone display. Now change the composition settings to 180 by 1920. What we need to do is add a solid layer. I'm going to press Ctrl Y, it doesn't matter what color it's going to be. Now we need to add an effect called Element 3D. This is going to allow us to import the 3D iPhone model as well as animate. Now before we go into scene setup, go to custom layers, custom texture maps and change this to iPhone display. Now it's time to to head into the scene setup. And the resources I'm gonna provide, there will be this, these two Element 3D models. If you wanna control C them, go to documents, video copilot, and you can paste them right here. If you did that right now, you might wanna restart Element 3D or even After Effects. When you do that, you're gonna have these two models in your favorite category. You can double tap on this model and double tap on the iPhone 14 Pro Max model. Now you should see that this, this model already has colors and everything attached to it. It. So that's basically two clicks and you're actually done with the iPhone model. Now in the resources there will be a couple of different environments 
for you to load. These are the six environments I've prepared for you. When I was making this for the first time, I actually found it annoying that the environments were sharp. These all have cash and blue on them. Now, I'm gonna select something like Urban Day, because why not? This is the environment. Click OK. You can even see the reflection right here. Click OK. I mean, you can position you should have this iPhone. Now to animate this iPhone, you want to head to Word Transform. Let's keyframe the word position, keyframe the scale, as well as all of these three rotation values. Now drag all these keyframes to the beginning. You might want to scale this iPhone a little bit up and then move the camera closer to the right side because the messages start from the right side, right? Now let's add some smoothness to this. Select all these keyframes and press F9. There is no like uh, fixed graph for this, so just play around and find out whatever looks the best for you. I'm gonna maybe try this and you can select custom keyframes and make custom graphs for this. Just play, play around, you know what I mean? And this is the animation. Thank you guys for watching and see you in another tutorial. Peace guys.